Well, my first poem is Dexter, and I read this, I've read this before once, but I got it published in an international magazine recently, so I thought, <laughs> thank you. And the last time I introduced this poem, I said, it's about Dexter. Yeah, that Dexter. And somebody came up to me afterwards and said, I was expecting you to write about the cartoon character. I didn't even know who there was a cartoon character named Dexter. That shows, you know, my... Uh, I was, I'm, I'm talking about the serial killer named Dexter who has a, I think it's Showtime special, used to have a Showtime special, and he is known for going around and killing other murderers. Um, he, he has a code. He'll only kill people who are other serial killers. That's what makes him a little bit likable. They had to do something, I think, when they were writing the show uh, to make him likable. So anyway, I'll shut up and read the poem. Uh, Dexter. He's wicked but endearingly pathetic, clumsily attempting to mimic roles among those living in an anesthetic world denied to him. He only kills dark souls. Other murderers inflame his hell. We're privy to his inner monologue, and his confessions form a spell of intimacy. Our thoughts become a fog. We grin as he treats fellow cops to pastry, his smile so bright but taut, a winding sheet, concealing plans to torture, murder, glow. Sated again, he's Manson, Bundy, Gacy, except now he's the star of his own show, Accomplices, we laugh. Dexter chops meat. And uh, this other one I'm going to read is called Functional. And it's a little bit more personal. I fumble through a shelf of empty bottles. Where's my Cymbalta, my Abilify? Anxiety creeps over me. I'll die without my Clonopin. I wake up rattled, hands aching, curled in fists. The enemy has vanished, leaving sweat and memories. Old fears mock me, remind of my disease. Just take away my pills and I would be as paranoid as a feral cat. I never dreamed I'd stalk around a hospital like that, but I collapsed and everything I thought was me dissolved into a stranger's scream. I saw myself lash out and curse and bite, but I was in the walls floating, grown numb. No one could reach the creature I'd become. I spent two weeks in hell where bright sunlight glared down upon the ruins of my mind. No medications helped. Anxiety burned constantly, then dreaded ECT. Like cuckoo's nest, I feared that I'd be singed into a vegetable. They put me out. I woke a bit confused and still depressed. Repeat times three. That night, my best friends visited. I laughed. We talked about old times. Since my electroshock, I have been stable just with pills. No ghosts, no more panic lasting for days, no more razors, no more attempting and failing to grieve imagined wounds from long ago. But still, I dream of losing that which heals my brain. A part of me remembers being insane. Few know my secret, I am functional. Thank you.